What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I've been single every single Valentine's Day and I used to be like, mm, for some reason, I still have hope that one day I won't be. Right now we are getting ready for the Galentines. This is my first Galentine's Day. Maybe next year I'll host one since I have my own place now, but next year I'm planning on being married, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'll still host one, I don't know. But I have three friends and it's crazy because I met them all in different avenues, but they're all friends and they invited me to their Galentine's Day thing, hence the pajamas. So I'm getting ready to go. Still have not unpacked anything from Aspen. So I've been like scrambling to get my life together, but it's fine. Okay, I'm excited, gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I've been like praying for God to like help me make friends and venture out because I literally planned on doing nothing tonight and there's nothing wrong with being alone on Valentine's Day, but I planned on getting my hair done, going to the gym and then making cookies and having like a Netflix marathon, you know? I literally made these in 10 minutes. These chocolate, chocolate covered pineapples and strawberries cause I didn't want to come empty handed. So I bought that and then I have wine in here and you know, I didn't want to like come and be like hey guys i'm here to eat all your food no never show up to the party empty-handed now i'm heading out we're gonna go because i'm late but i think everyone else is late so it's like actually fine oh yeah okay i'll see you guys what you say? oh we're taking shots Ooh. <laughs> Say hi. Ashley, she does hair. Hi guys, come You're see in Houston. me. Yeah, <laughs> she'll get all the lace all together. She does hair. I'm gonna put everybody on, actually. Hello, everyone. Shout out to all my Talitha Jane girls. Y'all already know the vibes. Um, my name is Jazz. My Instagram is Jazz the Hustler, as well as my YouTube is Jazz the Hustler. I'm a celebrity hairstylist here in Houston. So make sure y'all tap in. Miss Joy. Hello, my name is Joy Martins. I am, oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm just playing, hey everyone. What do I do? Whatever you want. <laughs> hey everyone, we're playing Cards Against Humanity and I'm gonna make everybody laugh with my cards. Oh my God. <laughs> These cards are dirty. Oh my God. I just read, guys, read your cards, please. The cards are very dirty. They're read pretty. your cards. My camera broke, I dropped it. So you walk around the phone. Thursday it is oh just got a text message 527 I am getting ready to go to the gym y'all can we talk about last night hold it up let me put y'all down because maybe got home at probably six in the morning I don't know what happened between leaving the Galentine's Day event and going out Joy called it she said my friends are gonna want to go out I guarantee you it's not gonna be we end the night here we didn't go to one not two but three different spots and I'm like I can't hang with y'all. I'm an inside girly. Like my back hurt, my feet hurt. I'm tired. I gotta work out tomorrow. And on top of that, we were all in pajamas and slippers, which I kind of really liked because I don't know. Club culture is so look perfect to be pretty. Yeah, that's fun. But like showing up to such a serious place in pajamas ate the girls down. Like I love it. We're gonna go to the gym and then we're going to an R&B night because when I was out, a owner and a manager of a club recognized me from YouTube and they were like, we'd love to host you and have you. And I'm like, it's an R&B night, so that's very on brand. One area I'm kind of struggling is having fun and still keeping my like, my like Christian, modest, modest, ladylike, dainty persona. Like, I don't know. The stigma around women who go out is like, very secular, very vulgar, and I'm like, that's not me. One of my friends, Mike Neutrals, basically, like her tagline is, you don't have to sin to have a good time, and I was literally repeating that to myself. Drinking, the type of music they're playing, smoking, I don't smoke, but um, even being around that sometimes can be kind of like permeating a little bit. I'm trying to find that balance between having fun and still 
glorifying God. I don't know what is happening, y'all, but God literally, he turned the, the stove on high, okay? Within the past few months, and let alone January specifically, God like, I feel like I'm being prepared for something. I feel like my spiritual life and like my journey with Christ is just been put into overdrive. I don't know where this came from, but I'm kind of not mad at it. And it's kind of fun to reinvent myself in that lens and figure out like, who am I in Christ? I think that's what it is. Actually really enjoying myself, like growing in God and like coming out of that lukewarm Christianity, like picking and choosing what rules I want to apply, but slowly, slowly, because it's a process. Incorporating God into my life and valuing myself in Christ and doing like, these things like i just i don't know i i like it it's fun and i love it here and i encourage all of y'all to partake as well it's fun i love it it's funny i say that and then still continues to go to r&b night i'm probably not gonna be drinking tonight because i think i'm giving up alcohol i think that's the next fast i need to go on i haven't made any bad choices on alcohol but drinking makes me think about making bad choices and when you start thinking about them that's just as bad as making some of them they change because it's gym time and gym is gym used to be my man but Jim is now that girl. She's one of the girls, okay? So. One, yep, eight reps. So push your hips back, tuck your chin in, eyes two meters ahead of you, yeah? Down there, where I'm looking, on the floor, right there. Smooth up, smooth down. So draw the belly in, stay strong in your set position. One, press, one, hold. Three, okay, to the end of the set, two, two, please. Down. Two, up, two, nice. down slow, up quick. Combo, two times, two, two, four singles. Down, down, up, up, one more. Single time, four, three, two. Repeat that combo, let's roll. Yes, where are you feeling that? Quads, right? Yep. The following day. Hey vlog oh my gosh you guys this week has been so hectic didn't even plan on doing any of the things i did this week which is why i didn't vlog a lot of it but let's do like a little a recap first and foremost i want to say if you live in houston or even if you don't live in houston and you've just seen me recently i want to say thank you and i love you and i really am like being in a space where i can meet you guys because i love being out and you're like oh my gosh it's talitha and i'm like it is talitha and then we can just talk and like actually meet each other and i love that if you see me and you trying to say what's up yeah say hey to everyone who's said hi to me hey girl hey or hey boy hey i appreciate you guys second i'm calling this vlog kissing the streets goodbye for two reasons one because I've gone out three nights in a row, can't hang anymore. Y'all, like not only am I mentally and physically exhausted, I'm not knocking anyone who goes out and who like enjoys being out, but clubbing is not fulfilling for me. It's like fun in the moment. What did Talitha gain besides weight <laughs> from drinking, being out until five in the morning, sleeping until 2 p.m., you know, like, that ends up me that ends up with me neglecting my fitness, neglecting YouTube, because I've been on go. I haven't even picked up my camera this week. <clears throat> Kissing the streets. Farewell. Gotta go. The type of attention I want to attract is not found in those places. So I'm excited that Joy and I are kind of like on the same page with that. I told her like, hey, I'm kind of done going out. And she was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> so y'all are gonna see Joy a lot, because we're yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. But to give y'all a recap of what I've done, so you guys saw the Galentines, but we ended up going back for R&B night last night. And then we went to three other spots after that. It's like once you're outside, you just get pulled in so many directions. We went to Travis Scott's, what was it? Bowling party. That was a lot of fun. Drunk bowling is fun. Even though I'm done drinking, drunk bowling? Well, not even drunk, like tipsy bowling? A good time. You got it! Basic one on one with bowling. Keep your elbow out. Keep that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
the gas. No cost for the gas. I got all of the gas. Take it on me. And then tonight, Joy invited me to like a singles night at church, which was really refreshing, honestly. I'm not one for like singles events. I think they can be kind of corny, <laughs> low key. But um, I realized I'm a lot more mature than I thought. A lot of the people in there were still like, you can tell there's still some growth to do in terms of like relationships and what to expect from a relationship and being in a relationship. But because of that, Joy and I got to talking and we're gonna go to church together on Sunday, which I'm really excited for because I have not been to church in Houston. I love my TikTok sermons. I love watching sermons, but nothing hits like being in the present, like being in a church. So we're gonna start going to different churches around Houston and doing that, which I'm excited for. And then after we left the singles thing, we went to dinner, went on a little date, a little date. <laughs> I am finally exploring Houston for myself because if you watched last week's if you watched last week's video I kind of opened up about like being not in a relationship but being with somebody and essentially didn't work out I don't blame him I'm not upset with him I'm not mad at him or anything like that but I spent a lot of time in the house with one person who ended up not even God was pulling me in a different direction I'll say that and the first four months here I not wasted, but I learned a lot about myself. I feel like those were the growing months and now I'm kind of like in the process of reaping the seeds I planted. And I'm very excited about that. We have planted lots of seeds, ladies and gentlemen, and it's harvest season. We're definitely in our happy era for sure. Very happy. I'm exactly where God wants me to be and just growing in that aspect of my life. And I love it. It's a good time. It's a great time. 12.48, it's almost one in the morning. I said I was gonna read my Bible for 30 minutes and then I'm going to bed. And I am going to brunch tomorrow. My friend is in town, y'all. If you follow her on TikTok, Miss Christiana Moore, bad brown skin, that girl, she's here. Because Chris is here, I'm gonna surprise her. She recently hit 400,000 followers on Instagram and I love to celebrate people. Y'all know this, okay? If it's a birthday, if it's a celebration, I'm gonna show up for you. I don't care who it is. I show my people love. So at some point, I'm thinking she's gonna wanna come over and see the place, but I'm gonna surprise her. You see those balloons right there? I got 400K and then I bought her a little gift, which is downstairs, I need to go get it. Because her birthday just passed too. I don't know how I'm gonna finesse her to come here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. We are going to take these balloons. I'm gonna do a similar thing to what I did for my sister's birthday. So cute. I was doing my little Bible study and it's Valentine's week. So I wanted to do like some love things. The first to Proverbs 18, 22, and it pretty much says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Y'all, okay, hear me out. So there's two things I took away from that. He who finds, meaning he is supposed to seek after you. You are the prize, you are the catch, you are to be chased. Not chased, but found, you know? Maybe I'm just old school, but my days of approaching men are, that ended years ago. I'm like, no, because people, especially men, make time for what they want or they put effort into what has their attention. If you don't have their attention or if you're not worth their time, they will show you in their actions. There is nothing a man wants that he doesn't already have, okay? or figuring out how to get it. And that goes for women included. Like if they really want you, you're gonna know and how they pursue you. Second thing I took was he who finds a wife, meaning he didn't find you to teach you how to be maternal or nurturing or sympathetic, empathetic, like how to care for him. He is supposed to find you that way. You should already have the seeds planted before you meet. They teach you how to be a good partner to them, but you should be a good partner period. Like, would you even date yourself? Like, would you wife yourself? That's the question for today. The following day. Happy Saturday, everyone. Good afternoon. So I'm getting ready to go to brunch. It's lunch. I don't know why they'd be calling it brunch because you don't go to brunch at 2 p.m. I'm running kind of late, actually. I still have to make a stop before I like get to the brunch place. Actually, I can just pick him up later. It'll be fine. But here's the outfit. I'm mad because it took me this long to put on a corset and jeans. Yeah. But the jeans are from Good American. The top is probably from Fashion Nova. It's just like a little, what is this thing? Corset, top. 
These heels are from Fashion Nova. And look how long the jeans are. Tall girl friendly and I cuffed them. Kim Kardashian can make a pair of jeans and they make the booty look good too. Yeah. Have the Dior bag on the show. from brunch, brunch lunch. Um, Chris and her friends came over and I was able to surprise her because I didn't know she was coming with me straight from brunch. I didn't get to set up any cameras or anything. So I'll insert my little TikTok post so y'all can see her reaction. But yes, I got her. I'm so proud of her. Just catching up and like hearing all the things that she's doing. It's like, I really wanna be like her one day. And just seeing her success makes me so happy. I love to see my friends winning. It just, it makes me so happy. Later, we're going out. So until then, we're gonna edit this video. Like my shirt, look, you like my voice? It's her you want? It says happy era because I like had a moment of reflection like probably a few hours ago. I'm just like very happy right now. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I'm genuinely just so blessed and so thankful to be where I'm at, not just like physically, but mentally, like mental happiness and mental clarity and mental stability, like money can't buy that. So the fact that I feel very happy, you know, like fulfilled, content with life and content with where I'm at, what I have, what I don't have, like it's just such a good feeling. And I truly, truly, truly do attribute it all to God. Like I'm just happy era. I'm gonna make some cookies and chill, probably watch a movie, edit a little bit until probably like, 10. I think I'm gonna do a get ready and like catch you guys up on life. In you go. We are getting ready to go out. Tired low key, but however, Chris is here and it's her last night here. She leaves tomorrow. And I told you I was going out with the bang. I meant that. Kissing the streets goodbye because I can't do it anymore. Honestly, it's not even going out, it's the drinking that needs to stop because it does not make you feel good whatsoever. For the makeup routine today, we're literally just doing not even makeup. Not my duck, y'all, yep. Why do I love that so much? This is going to be the final time I address this because I don't like living in the past, especially because I am no longer feeling these type of emotions. I just wanna move on. I wanna be happy, I wanna feel happy, but I do also want to let y'all in on my life essentially when i first moved here i was seeing someone and because i'm a certified lover girl a combination of me being a lover girl and me being lonely y'all y'all this is where self-awareness and self-discovery is key don't be a lover and a loner don't do that being in the presence of this person we're just gonna call him daniel because i don't like saying this person daniel made me feel like good and i don't know if it was because i was lonely or if I just have always wanted to be in a relationship or a combination of all those things. You know, Talitha loved her some Daniel, okay? And Daniel loved him some Talitha, kinda. And it was a vibe. It was a vibe. I was, I thought I was happy. I was blissful and a little bit Delulu, but happy nonetheless. And it got to the point where, I kinda talked about it on TikTok, like I'm very close to God now, but when I first moved to Houston, because I was so focused on Daniel and spending time with him and being with him and doing things that surrounded him i like left god completely in the past i broke my abstinence when i was with daniel was acting out of character i was doing things that talitha normally wouldn't do on top of being very depressed because i knew this person was not good for me like, it was cool until i started making bad choices because i was with this person and i'm not blaming him like i can take accountability for my own actions because i was lonely i was homesick i was starting to become a stranger to myself i got depressed and then i subsided that depression by being like you know what let me just think about my man my man my man my man it, not healthy whatsoever it was even harder because I had to sit down with myself and say, Talitha, what are you doing? I wasn't happy, but then having to end things with someone, it's like going through a breakup while you're homesick, while you're depressed, while you're lonely. 
had to let the door close completely because if you let if you keep the door cracked the bugs can still get in sometimes you just gotta put yourself first and i under i didn't know what putting yourself first looked like until i did it i was like wait this is kind of nice i think i like it here I keep telling myself like i'm so happy because i am and i just like keep repeating that and it feels good to say it and mean it and like not have a care in the world because i'm genuinely very happy right now my god was like to like the just close that door because once you close it, we can open up door number two. And door number two is like the grand prize, you know? That was very hard for me, honestly. And I didn't talk about it because I didn't want to admit to myself that I was going through that. Like it was really hard. It was, I think that was one of the hardest things I had to do. So if you were like actually in a relationship with someone and y'all broke up for whatever reason, I applaud you for picking yourself back up because that's not easy. Especially when you like love that person. Dangerous game right there. Oh, this is a good one too. Tell that girl get out this section. You cannot come over. Tell that bitch get out this section. You cannot come over. I like when you draw the makeup more or less honestly it is it's less because there's barely any makeup here but the eyebrows are eating though the little highlight in the inner corner oh not the pop but i'm gonna figure out what to wear i still have 45 minutes until i need to leave so we have time and honestly i have no idea what to wear i'm going through a crisis here's the outfit going with very 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 simple i am not a fan of where we're going so i'm like i'm not i'm not doing too much and i'm not i'm not trying i'm not trying to be extra tonight not well well we came with the neck we came with the jewelry tonight but as, in terms of the outfit it's like freezing out and we're gonna be outside and i don't like where we're going so we just made some shake some i've worn this before honestly this jacket with these shoes it's like the dynamic duo <laughs> bomber jacket is from pretty little thing my my jewelry oh tj the big t not the little one these earrings that are weighing down my freaking earlobes love that jeans from american eagle rick owens and then i think i'm gonna do this silver purse cute i like it 3 15 a.m we're back we left the place around like 1 30 and then i went back to their hotel and we just like talk chill hang out unless i'm going out to like celebrate something i'm not mm -mm. i want to say for at least a month i'm not going out we're going back to my gym solid gym routine my diet preparing for coachella because it's in like about a little about a month and a half you're going to finish the vlog with our post shout outs in case you didn't know i haven't said it in a while comment the sparkle emoji on my instagram if you want a shout out from me that's really all you gotta do shout out number one is going to viv shout out to miss viv the second shout out is going to milka i want to say sorry if i said that wrong oh baby the body is pop sheesh i see y'all and i'm like i'm trying to get like you and the third shout out for this video is going to kiera and also for the soul de janeiro product giveaway that literally only lasted a week we're just gonna pick three random comments right now congratulations to these three ladies i will be reaching out to you i did leave the products back in colorado so i apologize in advance because i won't be back in colorado until march i love you guys so very much thank you for watching thank you for being part of the family part of the journey we'll see you on sunday i love you guys and i'll see you next time